Good morning and welcome to Mountain Horse Studios. This is episode 15. Coffee without cream. So I woke up this morning and <clears throat> I like co- I like cream on my coffee. I didn't have any cream. It doesn't last too long if I don't uh, uh, keep it cold. And so poured myself a cup of coffee and I was thinking about how we, or how I, and all of us probably, um, go about our lives to try to soften the blow of life uh, by the creature comforts, our, our pretty homes, our pretty clothes, and our pretty automobiles, and uh, things that we pack around us to make it more and more comfortable. In fact, even the nicest of cars are, are just designed to uh, make things more and more comfortable for the rider. And uh, I thought, well, you know, that's a problem because I am realizing that my life is best lived 50% without cream, (laughs) I would say. I still like my cream and I still like creature comforts, Um, but I learn very little in those environments. You know, when um, you're in your house watching your TV, or when I'm in my house watching watching TV, and um, there's little opportunity for growth. Um, and in fact, all we're doing is watching stories of other people rather than living our stories. And um, I think I think for me is the realization that um, I want to spend my last days from now till the day I die, um, enjoying life 50, 50% without cream. And by that I mean is being out in nature. Um, and I think one of the pleasures that I've had over the last little while is um, instead of building things up, of having more and more, I get more pleasure of having less and less <laughs> And uh, the simplicity of life um, it really allows me to center myself on things important. And things important to me are connecting, connecting to my environment, to nature, where I learn most things of importance, and the people around me and the people I love, and the people that I can open my heart up and um, I- embrace um, who they are and share myself. When that happens, I'm happy. I don't need shit. I don't need a car. I don't need a fancy home. I don't need anything. I need the connection. And um, that connection is lived in the moment. You think of all the things of, of life. Is we're all striving. We're either, you know, we're doing one of two things, majority of us, me included, is living in the past, thinking about regrets, more often than not, not that we don't have past memories where we um you know are joyful but or living in the future over things that we desire that we don't currently have and doing that um i know for myself is that you miss life and uh, life is lived in the moment um the overused word now and um uh that is when you feel the most centered and the most creative um, and the most powerful you um, possible. And so getting out in life and and, and getting out in nature and in more extreme situations, whether that be extreme athlete and um, skiing or snowboarding or uh, mountain biking or, or, or whatever you're doing, when you're pushing those edges, um, you're certainly out of your comfort zone, and you're certainly not taking it with cream. And you're probably learning a ton about yourself and uh, and having a blast doing it, and you feel alive. And that's the purpose of Mountain Horse Studios, is to create content that both inspires, um, educates, and entertains. Um, and a large part of that is is, you know hence the name Mountain Horse Studios, is uh, horses. Um, 
you, the nature of the horse uh, being half domesticated and half wild allows us to, one, the domesticated side allows us to connect with the animal or the animal to connect with us, uh, where a wild animal uh, would be much more and more difficult <laughs> to do. Uh, but the wild side allows us to see the animal as nature has intended the animal to live. And sometimes that's really harsh. Um, no cream involved. Um, but when you see it, you get to see it for what it is, not project what you think is happening. When things are soft and covered in cream, it's, it's like a surface that you can project your thoughts on uh, and your feelings. And this is what you believe is happening. But when things are delivered to you without cream, um, you, you can't deny, you can't make things up. You can't, you can't, um, storytell. You are being told the story rather than you projecting onto the canvas what you think the story is. And those are the moments I look for. And those moments are usually, um, well, recently, uh, riding uh, as the opening of, of Mountain Horse Studios this morning shows, uh, I was riding with Jim Wilson and, uh, the owner of Diamond Head Outfitters, one of the owners, along with Lisa. And, um, you know, when you ride with more experienced people, uh, you get that sense of your butthole puckering up because you're not sure if if, if this is going to go well. And you got to rely and trust your, the animal that you're on as well, and you're, you're wondering what he's going to be doing. And also realizing that if you are having any second thoughts or, or uh, intrepidations about it all, uh, the animal is feeling it as well. The horse is feeling it, so you're going to perpetuate it. So this neat symbiosis that has to occur where you both are confident, you both trust one another, and you move forward to whatever task you're looking to do um, and have some fun doing it. It's a shame that we don't do more of that in our daily lives, and I think um, that we need to. I know for myself is uh, I probably need to spend 50% of my time uh, without cream. Uh, and it's not that I don't like cream in my coffee. I love cream in my coffee. It's so good. It's so soothing. Um, I could sit back for an hour and just drink my coffee and stare at a wall and not think about anything. That's how good it is. But sometimes I need that harsh cup of coffee to wake me up to, uh, the reality of the moment. And that harsh cup of coffee is for me in life is nature and getting out there. And hunting's uh, becoming a big part of that. I'm new to hunting, but uh, I'm enjoying it. And it, it uh, delivers the life and death struggle um, to me and allows me to see things for what they are and not what I want to project on them. And uh, that really l solidifies what's important. Um, and, you know, it gives me a tremendous amount of respect for the animal um, uh, that I take, uh, it's, it's left me with a visceral, visceral response, um, to my food is that I can't waste it. It's so disrespectful to the animal. If, if uh, me and my friends are hunting and we, we kill an animal, I can't even waste the silver skin. I have to feed it to a dog. I'll save it in the fridge. This was not a conscious response. This was, um, this was just a gut feeling I had, uh, when I was, second or third day, um, I was eating um, some of the deer meat that, uh, that I had, that a friend and I had uh, I got uh, hunting last season. And, you know, what I guess the message uh, of, of this podcast is um, get out there. Um, do things that, that move you outside that comfort zone. Um, the, the, don't pour that cream in the coffee one morning and and, uh, and and think about your life and how you're living it. Um, because in those extreme moments, we really begin to understand what's important, and that's our connection uh, with one another and with our environment and with nature and, um, and with ourselves. And when we lose that connection, then I think depression, anxiety, um, and other ailments ensue. But when we are connected with people that we have a natural resonance with, that we um, love and respect and want to give ourselves to, um, and that we feel uh, that we trust, that we can open our hearts and reveal ourselves of who we are, um, 
that's life. That's what it's all about. Um, and popping around in culture right now, uh, you know, obtaining stuff, uh, I don't think it really brings too much to your life. Not that I'm against stuff. I love beautiful things. And I do love a certain amount of creature comforts. But you can't live in a cup full of cream um, without diluting yourself. <laughs> and uh, and I think there's a lot of problems that ensue afterwards. So, you know, the opening of the podcast today just, just had me and Jim uh, running through the water uh, in the deep little channel that we, we dropped into. And for me, that sums it up. That's me connecting in the moment with my friends, with the horses, and not thinking about another thing on the planet. I encourage everyone else to do the same thing. Is uh, get out in nature, whether it be hunting, whether it be riding horses, taking your dog for a walk. Try to get out there and do more than a little stroll around the park. Try to get out there and experience it for what it is. And, 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 you know, pack your car up, the tent, sleeping bag, and uh, get out there and, and be respectful uh, to the people who live out in the country. Um, don't bring your city life to them um, and think you're all shit because of whatever you're driving or your pompous attitude. We see a lot of that on the Squamish Valley Road as people coming in and and uh, being totally disrespectful. And I can't believe the number of people that drive at mock speed over the speed limit right by horses within a couple of feet um, and don't think anything of it. I just, I can't comprehend it. Uh, people would s move over, slow down and move over for uh, kids, at least I would hope they would, or dogs. Um, but they're just screaming by uh, with our horses around. Now, we've got great horses, but it doesn't take anything uh, to spook one and things to go wrong. So if you're traveling up in the Squamish Valley, please slow down. I really am trying my best not to lose my temper on this, um, but uh, it's so disrespectful and so dangerous. Someone threw a bear banger out of all things. Um, luckily, no one was on the horses and no one was in the barn because the horses came out of there at mock speed in a frenzy, and if anyone was in that barn, they could have been trampled. And for what point? Like, what was that dude in your white truck? I wish I got your license plate because I'd be hunting you down right now. <laughs> um, you could have killed people. And what was that for? So you could look macho, throwing a bear banger out? I don't get it. I don't get what you guys are trying to do when you come into the valley. And, you know, that's my rant for the moment. Um, slow down. Be respectful of the people who live here. I read an uh, article on um, Maui. Don't pass a local resident in Maui in your car. They will get very, very upset because they do not want your city way of life of rushing to and fro to interfere with their culture. And their culture is very laid back. I don't blame them. Um, you know, I think there's a, a need to protect culture, uh, especially those cultures that we find dear and that, that make our lives uh, meaningful to each other. And uh, I don't bring your city life to the country and come flying through these rural roads um, with, dis uh, with total disrespect for the people that call that home. There are ranch dogs, there are children at play, and there are horses, and there's wildlife. Slow the fuck down, please. You're being dangerous, and someone's going to get hurt. Um, and it can't be just the Squamish Valley that this is happening. Um, I'm seeing it more and more. Maybe as I'm getting older, we joke around, Jim and I, that uh, you know, and we're probably stupid punks as well at one point in time, which we were. Um, but I just don't, I don't remember having that little disrespect for people in general. Um, and uh, so please, please uh, slow down where you're in the country. Um, the people that call that home um, appreciate it. Don't bring your city way of life to the country. Um, it's not wanted. And, um, 
and you'll get yourself in trouble. Um, because I think a lot of people are getting fed up with it and because it's dangerous. So there's very little tolerance um, in that area. So, uh, and that's it's going back to my point is that, you, you know, in the city we are um, constantly looking at ways to make our life softer. And, and it's producing, I think, in a lot of ways, weak men. Um, and in today's world, um, I think we need you know, stronger men, uh, emotionally connected men. And, um, and I think women, to a certain degree, are, are grasping, uh, um, are making, evolving quicker than men are right now. Um, but, um, you know, I, I just like to see more and more, um, men out there, um, uh, spending time, um, with people that they love in meaningful ways and doing something good in the world instead of the ego pompousness that I'm seeing constantly. Now, a little bit of a rant today, but, uh, you know, occasionally don't put your cream in your coffee, get out there and live life. Um and see its intensity, and, uh, and learn something from it, learn something about yourself, and, uh, you know, certainly horses, uh, provide that for you, uh, and if it's your dog, or if it's your family, or whatever it may be, go out there and do it, live it, it's too short, um, we think we always have time, but we don't, it's all way too short, so, yeah. Without any more ramble or rant, this is Mountain Horse Studios, and I'm having a blast doing this. Uh, I'm into it for about two months, and it's starting to find its legs. I watch little little episodes um, that I've done and, and cringe at the things I say occasionally, but Mountain Horse Studios is really a passion project to learn to storytell using multimedia and to uh, bring out um, important aspects of our lives in meaningful ways that may create a change um, and help make our world a little bit better in its own way. And I love the people I am involved with down here. I love the horses, and I love being out in nature as much as I do and am. So um, get out there. Enjoy your life. Uh, There's... Time is a wasting, and there's not enough time. So, that's it. Until next time, have a good day. Bye.